We'd like to introduce today John Wakefield. John has just completed an attempt on the world record for the smallest radio-controlled aircraft. His model is 69 millimeters wingspan, and he's flown it for six minutes, 56 seconds, and we believe that's a world record. The current world record is held by uh, Nicolas Pasquet, a Belgian, who built an aircraft with a wingspan of 126 millimeters, and he flew it for three and a half minutes. This model has a wingspan of 69 millimeters and weighs 1.98 grams. So this is nearly half as small. Um, we've flown it for nearly twice as long. So I think we have broken the record quite, quite easily today because we've flown this for six minutes and 56 seconds. It's made out of polystyrene foam, carbon fiber, aluminium, balsa wood, and epoxy. And the propeller is plastic. The model is powered by a miniature electric motor. I've got full throttle control, which I can demonstrate now. So slow flight, medium throttle, and increasing it. Now this also makes it climb and descend as I increase and decrease the throttle. And also I can make it turn as well by increasing the power because of the torque from the, from the motor. But I do have a rudder, which I can demonstrate now. So as you can see, the controls are extremely simple. I've no elevators or ailerons, just throttle control and rudder. But obviously, the smaller you go, the lighter it has to be and the less you can put on it. So that explains why I've got such basic controls. But that does give me full control for a flight of six minutes, 56 seconds. The batteries are commercially available. I've just reduced the weight of them by about 0.05 over gram to try and save some weight. And the control boxes, again, you can buy these, very simple. Uh, again, you've just got the throttle control here and left and right rudder on here. And you can also trim it here as well, which is very important. Once the trim is set, the aircraft will fly in a gentle circle for as long as the battery lasts. So I'm going to submit all the evidence, the video evidence, the stills evidence, the measurements, everything we can to the Guinness Book of Records now and hopefully claim a new world record for the world's smallest radio-controlled unmanned aerial vehicle or drone or model aeroplane, however you want to call it, but that's it.